Hey. Argentina is here. Hell yeah, Argentina. Hey guys, I'm good. Is there a filter on this automatically? I have another thing to say, which is that my eyelashes used to grow up and nice. Now they go flat and down. Um, what's my favorite form of potato? Someone sent a present. Sorry. I'm just getting, um... Okay, guys, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Did you guys see, um, my most recent TikTok asking for secrets? I'm like, blink once if you saw that video. Blank once if you saw the video. I need your help because I want to get your handwriting tattooed. Here's the thing about that is I actually think you don't. <laughs> and here's why. Um, the reason is because I saw someone talk about this recently and they're like, what if something happens one day and you like really hate my music all of a sudden? Um, then I feel responsible for like condoning the handwritten tattoo. Gracie, my name is Grace. My birthday is September 8th. We're soulmates. That's crazy. What's the flavor of ice cream you ate at Unlearn? Oh, I can talk about this. So the ice cream that we, that I ate, we made, and I made a total of like 250 sugar cookies that went in there and it was brown butter ice cream with sugar cookies. Um, and that's that on that. Who's excited for SNL tonight besides me? No joke, I listen to your music all day, every day. Thanks. Oh. Start a cooking channel. I know. I know. I've played Mess It Up. Oh. All of the... It all just jumped. Guys, should I do um? Keegan, Michael, Keen, Olivia, Rudd, your dream team. I know. I know. Gracie, I just got my wisdom teeth out. I got my wisdom teeth out, and I was actually bedridden for two weeks. Um, <laughs> I've listened to Mess It Up at least ten times today. Keep, keep it, uh, keep it coming, please. Um... Show the noodles I made. They're gone. I actually just cleaned up. But I'm making Mapo tofu tonight. And I went to the market and got uh, special things for it. Um, can I ask a question? When I go live on here, uh, do you get, like, notified? How does that work? Let's have a real conversation. Who Who wants to talk about what? You do get notified. That's scary. Came up on my For You page. As in, as in we, as in you don't know who I am. So, are people on here who don't follow me, like, can that just happen? I want to talk to them. Can we talk? Guys, I'm going to take you to my room. It's a real mess in there right now. One second. Oh, it's so messy in here. It hurts. Oh, it's so messy. Okay, hold on. So, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Someone said it can happen. What can happen? Like, if you don't follow me, this shows up for you. I'm like, I'm so sorry. Okay, we're about to have a, a nice talk. Hold on. Okay. Can you hear me okay if I put you here? Oh, 35 new messages. Wow, it shows up on randoms. Okay, let's talk. How often, do, let's talk about Blake. How often do I write music? Uh, I write music, I try every day. That doesn't mean I get stuff I like all the time. But, um, what 
what were the noodles you made? I made these cold soba peanut noodles with cucumber and chili oil. Um, can we talk about you? What's everyone going through right now? What is the most exciting or stressful part of your lives right now? Also, sorry, I'm just reading these. What's my favorite song on minor? Um, either minor or 21. I honestly, like, I sometimes wish that, I mean, I don't because it made sense for the time that I put it out, but when I released minor, the song itself, I feel like that song had a little bit more potential, to be fair. I think I want to break up with my boyfriend, someone said. Why? What's going on? Stressful living with... These are going fast. When are you going on tour in Europe? Hopefully soon. What's my favorite Olivia song? Good For You is my favorite out of the three so far, but I know the album is gonna be psycho. Release your old Insta vids. Do you wanna know what I'm doing with those? I, th I feel fine talking about this because I'm like, I feel like if you know me even a little bit, I, I can't, I don't, there are no, there's no such thing as, I don't know, nothing feels secretive to me. But um, I'm really excited for tour because I'm f currently working through it, but I'm like figuring out ways to have my, my like 30 second videos that I like would write and then post on Instagram as transitions between songs for tour and so that'll be good um those 30 second minutes got me through the day I was taught I had a session recently with someone that I hadn't worked with before and um they were asking me like about the way I write, whatever, and I was talking about how I used to write, and it was really fascinating. I mean, it's not really fascinating. That makes me sound like I really... Anyway, point is, um, when I was talking about it with him, I realized that, like, the way that I wrote for a while after being on Instagram, like, at such a young age, it... Originally, I started posting my songs on SoundCloud when I was like 12, which is funny. And then by the time I was allowed to get an Instagram growing up, because my parents were strict and they were like, no, and then let me, that SoundCloud was like my first form of social media. So when I got Instagram, I was like, okay, it only makes sense that I start posting music on here. Like I didn't know what else to do with an account, so I would just post my songs on Instagram and then I got so used to songs like being 30 seconds long because of what the cutoff used to be and so I often would write songs that were like 45 seconds like I'd write like a verse through the like pre or a verse through the first hook and then I would like I would like stop writing them so I have like hundreds of songs that are like half written and I'm trying to revisit a lot of them as I'm writing and working on stuff now because it's like it's just, it's bizarre. Someone said, uh, how did you learn guitar? So when I was in middle school, we had a music class that was a requirement. And um, I went to a really weird school. And I told my music teacher, I was like, I really, is there any way I could be in another class? Because I, for some reason, hated it so much because it was like intro to whatever, guitar. I didn't know how to play at the time. And he was like, if you learn, if you know how to play guitar, you don't have to take this class. So I went home and I like, uh, aggressively taught myself how to play guitar using just chord charts like visuals of chord charts on Google and I would look where my fingers were supposed to go and then once I learned it I loved it so I stayed in the class um, we broke up a month ago I still sleep in all of those friends think I'm great that's so funny I forgot about that song how did I meet Benny I met Benny through Blake uh, Blake was Benny's intern for years before Blake and I started, like, working in any 
real way. And so when I was 16, I met Benny because I would go over to Benny's house with Blake, who was at the time an intern. I want to go see you at Firefly. Oh yeah, who's going to Firefly? Please come to Firefly. I'm like, please come to Firefly. Um, do you write at the studio or wherever? I write way more at home than anywhere else. My favorite song of folklore is My Tears Ricochet. Gracie, you need to come to Germany. <laughs> Sorry, this is painfully boring. I'm like, you guys can leave if you want. <laughs> Um, am I a homebody? Yeah. It's interesting, like, I've started getting more relieved that people are getting vaccinated and all that, because obviously it's an incredible thing that science works. <laughs> uh, but part of me is I get really worked up and anxious and kind of, like, in my head about things opening up and people being more social and the excuse of needing to stay home for safety reasons when that goes away I'm just like I'm just like hmm, I don't know like that excuse helped my anxiety uh, a lot but anyway how do I deal with anxiety well, I've been in therapy for a while. I went a little bit when I was growing up, like when I was in middle school, I went for a couple months and then stopped. And then when in November of last year, I started going back consistently and I'm like the biggest advocate for therapy. Um, yeah, it has changed my life. Uh, it has made me aware of what my anxieties do like how they manifest in my life um but there was i did this meditation <laughs> i started doing some meditation stuff i did this meditation that um described described a way to like relieve yourself of the panic around anxiety is like imagine you're sitting on like the <laughs> Sorry. I'm like getting anxious trying to describe this. I don't want to do it wrong. It's like imagine that you are sitting at like a riverbed, like you're there's a river in front of you, you're watching it go down, and your thoughts you're seeing them, but you don't need to jump on and go down the river with them. You can just see them for what they are and let them pass. Does that make sense at all? Let me know. I probably butchered that description, but that visual helped me a lot and randomly like water I find very calming also if I like have ever had a panic attack. Actually, Benny taught me this, um, to hold ice cubes in your hand and just focus on watching them melt, like really calms me down. And so water in general, I don't know, it just like makes me feel better. Um, reading, reading, reading. craziest inspiration for a song um i'm always surprised when something i'm reading or watching makes me want to write a song because normally it's like um just personal experiences so when it's anything other than what i'm actually going through i'm like that's fascinating oh i'm so sorry for your loss Ugh. Someone said they got a new journal. That's amazing. Congrats. Oh, I don't know what this company does. I don't know if there's anything wrong with this company. So if there is and you know, then I take it back. But I don't think there is. There's this. This <laughs> is my favorite lip balm in the world. I'm getting a golden puppy. How tall am I? I'm 5'8". People 
think I'm short sometimes. People have been like, why do I feel like you're 5'2", but now I'm 5'8". I should do Zoom sesh. Oh, Zoom shows. Shows are happening. Like, part of me wishes they could always be on Zoom, but no. Someone said, I radiate tall energy. I think that's a compliment. Thanks. Uh, of course I will do a show in LA. Uh, sorry. I should probably go also, to be honest. Um, anyway. What's my sign? I'm a Virgo. <laughs> when did I start singing? Um, I learned piano. My first instrument was drums when I was eight. And then I learned piano when I was 10. And when I, I always like sang growing up. I loved musicals <laughs> growing up. Um, but when I was like eight and I was like eight when I started like writing songs, which is so stupid, but like I was that young when I started writing because it was my, it was just like an outlet. Um, but I didn't know how to play piano until I was like 10. So basically for two years when I was trying to write songs, I would like try to sing melodies over the drums, which is like a horrific idea or it was for me because it's like there are no chords, it's just drums. Um, but I started singing only because I was writing songs. It wasn't like I wanted to be a singer. I just wanted to be a writer. Um, or I didn't even want to be a writer. I just was writing because it made me feel better. Um, and so when I was in, yeah, when I was in like fifth grade I was really writing full songs that I felt like connected to and like proud of but didn't share with anyone and then when I was 12 started posting stuff on SoundCloud and then I realized when I was paying attention really to like some of the artists that I loved growing up and realized that they were writing their own music I was like okay it feels interesting and honest to be the one singing the songs that I'm writing versus writing songs and giving them away which is also amazing and I want to do that someday I would do it now honestly I write some stuff that I feel is good but isn't necessarily always what I want to be releasing so I just have so I don't know how do you come up with melodies and chord progressions um I would say if you're feeling like I get stuck a lot but I feel like if you're feeling stuck listen to listen Sorry, hack. Listen to different music than you're used to. You know? What am I doing? You guys, what if I wore my hair like this every day? Let's talk about Mess It Up, all right? What do you wanna know? Have you guys seen the video yet? Someone said collab with Julia Michaels. Uh, Julia and I had a session, I got to meet her this past year which was so crazy for me because um I, I feel like I've talked about this before but we've I've been a fan of hers since before issues just as a writer I was like holy shit this woman is superior <laughs> and so uh getting to work with her or just I mean be in the same room as her was amazing um, someone said, do you have any tattoos or piercings? I have six tattoos. Yeah, I have six tattoos. Uh, and I have now no piercings anymore. All of my piercings closed. I used to have four on this side and three on this side. They're all closed. What made me keep my tooth gap? Um, I 
was in elementary school. I wanted to close it and I was at this like luggage shop with my dad and I was like off in a separate aisle like looking around at all of these suitcases <laughs> and um, there was this really, really, really old woman who I think owned the store or was a family member of whoever owned the store. And she was sitting in this folding chair at the very back of this weirdly long hall that was in the middle of the store. And she was like, you, come here. And I walked over to her and she was like, never close your gap, it's good luck. And I was like, I will do anything you say. So I never changed it. And here we are. What's my favorite kind of cake frosting? My mom always loved buttercream frosting. Growing up was like, my mom has very few preferences when it comes to food, but like every year on her birthday, we'd get a buttercream frosting cake. And so I thought that, that was my favorite, but when we did the cakes for Mess It Up, we used cream cheese frosting, and I think that I prefer the way that cream cheese frosting tastes. Messed up such a hit in love, thank you. My favorite Billy song is Everything I Wanted, I think. What's my go-to dessert to make? Um, I make these amazing sugar cookies. They are really good. Also, there was this Tres Leches cake that I made a couple months ago for a group of friends, and they all said that that was the best thing I've ever made, so. That story's making me rethink closing my gap. I don't think you should. I think we should stand together with our gaps. What about the man cookies? Those were good too. I forgot about those until I saw them. I was like looking through my own highlights on my Instagram because I was like, what do I want to make for dinner? And I saw those cookies and I had forgotten about them. Share the recipes I use. I get recipes from all over. I My mom, um, my family is like, I don't know if collected is or we just have a bunch of cookbooks from all different points um, in our lives. I've like started getting a ton of them the more that I've gotten into cooking, but um, cookbooks and then based on those, I feel like I often don't follow recipes unless I'm like, uh, it depends. There are certain things like I would not be able to like roast a full chicken without looking at a recipe. Like I need to know certain stuff. Or like if there's a special kind of pastry, like I, I'm not, I'm not that skilled where I don't need anything ever. What about an acoustic version of Mess It Up? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I should make a cookbook. Did you guys see, do you all follow Lizzo on this app? Lizzo posted a TikTok recently and was like, in the corner of it, there was this book that said Lizzo's recipes and I'm kind of assuming that it was something that like her friends got her or something. But in my fantasy, it's a full book that she's gonna release. I'm just manifesting, I'm like, Lizzo, please. Lizzo, please. favorite show I'm watching at the moment. Last night I was with Blake and I have never seen, I had never seen any Curb and he played me an episode of Curb and it like it was so funny. I think that's my plan tonight. Um, wait, I'm just sorry, just because this is my first time doing this. Is everyone on here? Do we know? I'm like, do we know each other? No, I mean, like, do you, do we fall, like, can, does this show up on people's For You page? Because sometimes when I'm scrolling, I see people who are doing, like, tarot card readings, and I, 
I'm like, what do I have to offer? Should we play a game? What game could we play? Can you tell that it's a Saturday and all of my best friends are working right now? I have the day off, it seems. <laughs> so I'm like, hi, what do I do? Um, someone say, yeah, game time. What can we play though? I'm like, I know two games. I know Go Fish and I know Truth or Dare. <laughs> Those are the two games that I know. <gasps> Never have I ever. Okay, should we play that? Do I do this? You can ask me never have I ever. I will answer with truth. I got into bananagrams because of you. Fuck yes. Oh, interesting. Never have I ever broken a bone. I have broken a bone. Uh, I've broken my wrist twice and yeah <laughs> sorry i'm reading these uh never have ever broken a guitar no never have i ever had an annoying group of fans that started a petition to send me to jail that's happened you're not annoying though don't say that <laughs> These are funny. I've cried in a concert for sure. I cried at One Direction, 100%. Cried at Taylor Swift, 100%. And I definitely cried at Coachella just like throughout the day. This is fun, kind of. Never have I ever. <laughs> oh, I cried it when I saw Beyonce at Coachella. Oh my God. Have you all watched that documentary? Because watch it and then understand that I got to be there for that show. Never have I ever cried in a post office. Um, I don't know that I've cried in a post office, but I cried uh, in a hardware store. Like I sobbed in a hardware store when I went to college. And I said goodbye to my family and I uh, was crying so hard on the street for a second that I forced myself into a hardware store. And I went to the, like the aisle that had randomly like screwdrivers and like rope. <laughs> And I like pretended to be interested in the rope and the screwdrivers until I got my shit together. I did go to college. I ended up taking a leave of absence to come back and start working on music, but I did go to school and loved it. Never have I ever, never have I ever felt out of place around a specific group of people. 100% that happens to me mostly every day. I'm like, <laughs> I've burned my food. I have used a fake ID, I will say that. I did, I have. Not proud, not not proud, that just sometimes happens and then you live and you learn, right? I have, and she's an angel on earth, and we're all gonna be watching and supporting her tonight on SNL. It's not a question, it's a statement. It sounds weird if I say that I've cried to my own song, cause it's not like that, but I've cried while writing songs for sure. Never have I ever, this is my favorite one, felt the urge to just break the rules and go crazy. That's the best one. Never have I ever had a bad breakup. I have indeed. Wait, girl, when are you baking live again? On Tuesday at 4 p.m. 
Pacific Standard Time. Although, I just want to clarify, you guys should come and be there. But on Tuesday at 4, I'm going to just be decorating something that I already made. Because if I tried to bake it in front of you, it would take 100 billion years. And, um... You deserve better entertainment than than that. Okay. I think I'm going to go because um, I'm like, because I want to keep you guys coming back. Wait, but before I leave, can you please do me a big favor and go look at the comment section of my most recent TikTok because someone said, I feel like we're besties on FaceTime. Yeah, that's how I feel too. Mm, but go read the comment section on my latest post because it's so funny and some of it's not funny but a lot of it is really fucking funny um all right miss you guys already miss you guys how do i get off let's find out